this. Yesterday, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I mentioned a name to you working at the Heritage Foundation. His name, Jason Richwine. What is happening to Jason Richwine is inexcusable. What do I often say I do on this program? As a means of helping people, new listeners, understand what happens here. I get up every day. I do show prep. I watch TV. I read the news. I can absorb whatever I can. And whenever I see the things I believe in under assault, I come here and defend them. Whenever I see people that are involved in advancing the things I believe in under assault, I defend them. So whenever there is an attack on what I believe in, I come here and defend it. When there is somebody that the left is trying to destroy because they are involved in advancing things I believe in, I defend them. But never once do I get up and ask myself, who can I attack today? I'm portrayed it's just the opposite. That I come here and I attack and I don't, just I, I defend. I react to assaults on the traditions, the institutions, and the people that I think are important. And Jason Richwine is one such person. But I'll tell you, it actually goes beyond him. The left is now targeting the Heritage Foundation. Jason Richwine is a fellow. He works there. He's a Harvard University PhD. And if you recall from yesterday, he co-authored a study that pegs the cost of the amnesty bill to $6.3 trillion. Now, the lead author is a guy named Robert Rector. We've quoted him often on this program, too. He's a former Office of Personnel Management analyst. He is the leading intellectual warrior on welfare and welfare reform in all of Washington. He holds a master's degree in political science from Johns Hopkins University. Jason Richwine at Harvard wrote a doctoral thesis in which he concluded that the IQ of illegal aliens is lower than natural born residents in the country. That has been discovered, and he is now being charged with racism and bigotry. He, he's out of the Ivy League. He comes. He's got the perfect pedigree. He comes out of Harvard. There were a number of people on the review board for his doctoral thesis. Want to hear some of the name? Michelle Malkin looked into this. Rich Wine's dissertation... Dissertation committee at Harvard included George Borjas, a professor of economics and social policy, Cuban-born scholar, got his Ph.D. in economics from Columbia. He's an award-winning labor economist, National Bureau of Economic Research Research Associate. He's written countless books. Next, Richard Zeckhauser. Richard Zeckhauser is a professor of political economy at the Kennedy School of Government. He also signed off on Rich Wine's dissertation. Zach Hauser earned a Ph.D. in economics from Harvard. He belongs to the Economic uh, Econom Econometric Society, the American Academy of Sciences, and the Institute of Medicine. The final member of the committee that approved Rich Wine's thesis, Christopher Jenks. Christopher Jenks is a professor of social policy at Harvard's JFK School. Christopher Jenks is a renowned left-wing academic. He's taught at Harvard, at Northwestern the University of Chicago, and the University of California, Santa Barbara. He edited, edited the New Republic, liberal journal of opinion, in the 1960s. He has written several scholarly books tackling poverty, economic inequality, affirmative action, welfare reform, and he's even written on racial differences. The Black-White Test Score Gap was the title. So all of these achieved 
and highly acclaimed scholars reviewed Jason Richwine's doctoral thesis and granted him approval. And not one of them at the time they reviewed it accused him of racism or bigotry or prejudice or bias. He sailed through the doctoral program. But because his work has been cited in the Heritage Foundation report on the Gang of Eights amnesty bill, he is now targeted for destruction. And joining this attempt to destroy him are several Republican establishment members. Several rhino Republicans who are part of this cabal that thinks the Republican Party needs to go out and support amnesty in order to get Hispanic votes to have any chance of winning future elections. I think, folks, I think these, the Republicans that make up this group, the rhino group, the, the group that support this, this amnesty type legislation, or if, if not amnesty, the, the, the Republicans that, that think we ought to modify and moderate our view on all the social issues, like abortion and so forth. You know what it is? I think these people are jealous. I think they want the support of people who vote for Democrats. I think they wish people who voted for Democrats were voting for them. I think they wish they were going to things like the Met Ball. I think they wish they were on red carpet. Premier I think they wish to be accepted in that way by the pop culture icons of the left. So it's understandable to me that the left would try to destroy Jason Richwine. That's what they do. Anytime somebody comes along and pokes holes in what they're trying to do and illustrates the folly of their objectives, of course they're going to set out to destroy them. But what's happening now is the entire Heritage Foundation is under assault, predictably from the left, but being joined by some Republicans. And Jason Richwine is at the head of this list for destruction. And again, his doctoral thesis, in which his, his, his review of the, the IQ of illegal aliens was simply a scholarly result of research. And his research was passed with flying colors by his dissertation review board at Harvard Nobody had a problem with it until it shows up in a heritage report, which might damage official Washington, elitist Washington's desire for amnesty. Got to take a break. We'll be back and continue after this. Don't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, I just sent the link for Jason Richwine's doctoral dissertation up to Coco, and he's going to post that link at RushLimbaugh.com, El Quico. I mean, it'll be up there probably for 30 seconds from now. And we'll also put it on the Facebook page, and I don't know, we might even put it in the cesspool known as Twitter. It's 166 pages. It's titled IQ, an Immigration Policy. And this dissertation, which was gloriously approved by his Harvard Dissertation Committee, made up of a number of leftists, is now being used to smear him and all of Heritage as racist. And it's funny because everybody's out there demanding honest discussions. We must have honest discussions about race. We must have honest discussions about immigration. We must have honest discussions. Well, here is one. Here's an honest discussion, a doctoral dissertation, and it is under attack because it is honest. It's entitled IQ and Immigration Policy. We've put the link at RushLimbaugh.com, or three parts. Part one reveals the science of IQ as the foundation and basis for what follows. Part two delves into the empirical research comparing IQs of native-born American populations with that of immigrant groups, with the Hispanic population broken out. And then he explores the causes of an immigrant IQ deficit, 
that appears to persist among Hispanic immigrants to the U.S. through several generations. He didn't make it up. He didn't invent it. This is not some premise. This is not like global warming, where these guys have a premise to go out and do research and then fake it. He had a premise. He researched it. And this is what he found. And when it was published, nobody had a problem with it. But now that it's in the Heritage Report, criticized gang of eights immigration bill all hell has broken loose poor guy jason richwine i don't think he had the slightest idea what was going to happen to him he's like so many on our side he's now under assault and i guarantee you not one person in his life has ever accused him race bigotry any of that and they sit here scram what the what what the hell he's getting his taste of it now this is what happens to conservatives in America today. We'll be back. Don't go away.